This video tutorial is on the use of tracker and how it can be used to create a changing reference position because typically in tracker we normally assume that you can only track using the fixed reference frame so this is I'm going to delete away the offset origin which is not going to be used instead create a new particle now give it a new name let's call it the reference B and use the auto tracking function as suggested by Douglas that you can do a shift control click I'm going to select the bottom of the mask to be the new origin or for that matter it will be the new reference B and you can see that tracker does the auto tracking very well and is able to track the points accordingly now let it run until the end now this is meant to create a allow a new this reference B to be the new so so uncheck the fixed origin and then select now the reference B to the to be the new origin and you can see now that tracker does this very nicely by uh, changing the reference axis according to the new position of the point called reference B now uh, this will allow us to analyze the positions of the mass A with respect to the other boat which we have called the reference B so you can do a compare with reference B and you can see that very nicely the graphs will appear where uh, you can see the X is now 0 for reference B and uh, velocity will be pretty useful because that's where the student wanted to figure out what changes are recordable using tracker as the sailor uh, uses a technique to change the position of the sail so we can use certain stat analyze tools so something else so you will select a new region so maybe say it's actually a shorter region of the motion so obviously you need to refer back to the video to be able to give you the numbers but let's say that this gives you a pretty rough indication of the velocity which is negative point zero uh, zero point two two six one so then the new the new velocity which you can find the acceleration from which uh, v is equal to at then you can find that then there's a new value so coming back to the video you can see now that you can actually select the plots uh, let's say you might want to change it to a different number of plots and you, you can analyze vx a little bit more clearly if, if not then i think that's the end of the tutorial